So we all know about Danganronpa, right? We all love and or hate Danganronpa. Well, I have some stuff that's surprising that we may be able to make a theory out. We can conversate in the comments. Then on our channels, we can do a video. We can each do a video about what we think, and then work together to find what we actually think. So, I have some like. So I. So this is not really a spoiler for the third game or any game. I'm so. It's more of just an Easter egg for Ultra Girls to Spare Dong and Rapa another episode. I'm just gonna call it Ultra Girls to Spare. Or Ultra Despair Girls. It has Toko and it also has Nayagi's little sister in it. So that's interesting nonetheless. And I think that might have something to connect to like some like glitch in the timeline or something like that. But you guys take that and you guys think what you want of it. Then. Another thing, I think the second game could be a simulation or a prequel due to how different it is due to the first game and how Byakuya is in it. The thing is, it, I don't think it's that much of a prequel as it is of us, as it is of something else, as more of a game. Because Byakuya, think about it, if he's the ultimate heir to a rich company slash family, he would have a lot of money. His family would have a lot of money. And think about this. Since we know how Biyaki acts, maybe not everyone agrees with him becoming the heir of whatever he's going to heir. Be the heir of. So, they're going to want to make him look uh, good. So, they put him in this game that was uh, supposedly being developed by Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak High School, but it's actually made by a rogue developer, probably, that made him seem bad, and made the whole place seem terrible, to try to stop people from going there, trying to end Hope's Peak and the despair that's there, so he's probably actually a good person, he's trying to end it, but nevertheless, Bakia still went, so that's probably why the second game may be a simulation, another reason the second game might be a simulation is because... Think about how everyone is in it. So unlike in the first game, the first game had barely any stereotypes about anime. Second game, it has heavy stereotypes. Gamer girl. Everyone thinks that it's just kind of like everyone thinks, oh, gamer girls and stuff are so cool and stuff like that. So stereotype right there. And then... Girls can only be nurses. That's a stereotype right there. And then mechanics are boys. That's a stereotype. And then just look at Akane. Stereotype. That's more proof. And so I think most of the characters in there are stereotypes. Especially Nagito. The nice but nice shy guy who really has, who has a really dark side. That sounds like something, a stereotype, a type of stereotype in a game. Like, what else could it be? And, think about this. So, we don't see any of the original cast in it, but Monokuma is still there. Who would be controlling Monokuma if Juko's dead? Game. It's a game. So, Monomi and... Monokuma would not have to be controlled by someone and could just be fictional characters. And think any, you think even Hope's Peak has enough money to buy out an island like that? Many islands? And have those Monono Beasts? No. But it doesn't take much to code that in a game. It might be hard, but it doesn't take that much money to code that in a game. But it would in real life to build those things. And if there's... And what else? Like, do you think after original Hope Peak, after everyone gets out, especially Makoto, the ultimate hope or ultimate lucky student, I call him the ultimate hope because he literally captures Chuko's despair, do you think that he wouldn't tell the rest of the world about this? He knows where this place is now. He got out. He knows exactly where Hope's Peak is. 
he could get the authority as the store man. He could figure out everything about the whole thing. He could prove everything. And hopes people would be no more. So how would this make how would this make sense coming after the first game? So it's either a prequel or a simulation. So I'll let you guys decide and then you guys make your own theories from what I just said. Then we can probably figure out something about it, what you guys think, and we can figure out a theory. I'm going to try and post weekly. I can't say when on the week, but I will try and post weekly or, ch or, or two weeks. I'll try to post once a week or once every two weeks. Just depending on how long it takes to make a video. Okay. Bye.